Okay, now we're back with our smaller cake. I've got my red fondant rolled out, um, the cake right here, and then we already have the dowels inserted. This time, I'm just gonna take a little bit of buttercream, pop it on top, go ahead and pick up my cake, and place it right on top at an angle. Okay, it's hanging off a little more than I want, so I'm gonna have to just turn it a little bit. Okay. Now what I want to do is I want to actually skewer this through so it won't move. So I'll just take a skewer. It can't be higher than the cake. Pop it right through the center. Take a little hammer. Okay, and then that'll help secure it. Okay, now I can pick up my fondant. Let's see here, I need a straighter edge than that. And I need to turn this just because the angle that I use, I need it to be like this. Okay, now hold on to this. Let me grab my scissors and start cutting off this excess fondant. And now it looks like I might have cut a little too much off, so what I have to do now is just kind of stretch it a little bit. That was a little deceiving, but no worry, we can fix it. Okay, so I'll go ahead and see, I'm just very gently stretching the fondant down a little bit. And then I like to use my spatula here and kind of tuck that under. Okay, and then just trim off the excess just like we did on the black book at the bottom. Okay, and then turn it and go down this side. Then we're gonna go ahead and add the piece at the bottom just like we did on the other book. Also want to take the dowel here and do the same thing as we did on that bottom cake. Okay, now at the bottom we can fill in here also. See at the bottom there's a little gap there, so we'll take the buttercream to number two. 